Howdy y'all, my name is Helium Lemon, welcome back to my wild world, wonderful world of video games. And uh, I think that's a good intro because it's a tongue twister, yeah. Uh, we're back with more um, Legend of Zelda, I mean Donkey Kong. But clearly this looks like a Legend of Zelda game, so I could have I easily fooled you. We're gonna go back through levels that we've already completed and uh, get more uh, secrets on them. So looks like we're, um, no, let's go a little further into this. Let's do them at, like backwards. Um, so, good grief, I didn't do a very good, okay, well that's an underwater level. So let's start off with Orangutan Gang. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, I like, uh, the fact that I am watching the same YouTube user for help on 100% uh, uh, completing this game that I used, dude, come, come on, that I uh, watched when I was very first uh, doing doing my very first 100% uh, run of this game. Like I said, I think it's fun that I'm watching the same YouTube user as the one that I watched when I was very first uh, doing my first 100% uh, uh, run of this game. I was looking at a walkthrough and I'm looking at that same guy now and his name is Garland the Great. So yeah, he's, I mean, he's just, a lot of people must watch him because he's the first guy that comes up when you look up Donkey Kong Country 100%. And uh, the textures on this level are all, all really interesting because of the way it, that it's it's got like everything is kind of like shaded by the sunset. Um, I don't understand how or why I jumped over that guy, but I won't question it. Um, how are you supposed to do this? Get the O. Okay, I wasn't terrible. Um, so Cranky actually gave us the hint for. Uh, this secret, but I didn't understand what he meant because I was like, "Find Winky." Does he mean like an, like actually Winky, or like uh, a Winky token? So under the very beginning of the, oh no, just too low, but you saw it there. Let's try that again. Actual gameplay. Gameplay! My strategy is faster than, um, what's his name? Dewild Grim. This is faster than Dewild Grim's strategy. That's not a very good imitation of, um, I'm trying to do three cats watching Top Gun, but it just, it's just sounding like Eric Cartman. And I hate South Park, so I don't want to do something that kind of sounds like Eric Cartman. Oh, can I get... No, I can't. I kind of want to cut all these deaths out, but I again, I kind of want to leave them in. I want to cut out the first two at the beginning, because those were stupid deaths. But this is what happens, like... Oh my gosh. From the first, like, four-ish episodes of this LP, I thought I was, like, good at this game. So now... But now I'm, like... It doesn't mean I'm bad at this game, but I should stop playing fast because I ain't impressing anybody if I, I'm like trying to play fast and I keep dying because I'm trying to play fast. Oh. Don't take the hit. And there we go. I'm still happy with calling these enemies just Jumpy McGee. Oh, you need to get Jumpy McGee to get the secret. My name is Sharp Dean. I'm the new female character in town, Sharp Dean. So, you better look out. And you better make some kind of pie cakey. And leave it at the address where I'm currently staying at, which is Strong Bad's kitchen table. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm in a tree and it's very high. Yeah. That was a good song. 
It was better than Party in the USA, and I have friends that like that song, so I'm sorry, but... And a Jay-Z song was on, 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 and a Jay-Z song was... Okay, that's really annoying. I'll stop. That is an illustration of how I feel about Miley Cyrus. How I feel about our current policies. Fly under the tree, you dingus. Under the tree. Don't be too low. Okay, we just made it. And here is where we learn all the names of the animal helpers. And I love animal helpers. It's so, it feels like so classic. Also seeing Donkey Kong jump right after me is kind of distracting. Wait, what happens if I am inside this minigame and I get like... I complete my set of three. Yeah, here is the swordfish's name. I was right about it. I don't know, but I love the idea of animal helpers. It feels like a classic, like, children's book or something. I'm gonna have a good time, read some Beatrix Potter. I love... I don't know, I just love that kind of thing. And here's the ostrich's name. It's, it's, uh... Espresso, so it's not espresso like the coffee or whatever. So we didn't end up completing any of our sets of three, so that would have been weird if we did, because it would be like I would feel like, oh, I didn't feel finish the mini game, but it would probably be fine. Um, there's probably another secret in this level with espresso or espresso. I literally just said, oh, his name is like express and but not like the coffee and then I called him the wrong thing. He's running around like an ostrich with no head. Ha uh, ha uh, original joke. Original joke. Original joke. Okay. Anything else? Oh there's something under here. But not really. Did did I get something under there already? Oh you spawned out of nowhere? What the heck? That was fun. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything else in there. No, we still have one more secret to find. Okay. I mean, it's it's not like an old, old game, but it's old enough that like my cousins will be like, Oh, this is an old game. Oh. Because I play on my Nintendo DS all day, and it looks like a million bucks, and, and, and no, it doesn't. But whatever. I play Nintendo Land all day. Well, they, they would, I mean, but that game is like five, six years old by now. Actually, maybe it's only like, well, whatever, I can't remember how old Nintendo Land is. It's not six years old, though. Surely the Wii U's not, well, the Wii U's probably six or seven years old by now. Um, I'm, um, no. Uh. So you gotta go where the N is, which I think we can just... <laughs> nice! That's a slow and painful death. So yeah, there's a thing. Nice. I've really spent 13 minutes just trying to do this one level. I know this would be more fun to watch if I was like a Twitch streamer and I had like my face and like my button inputs in one corner of the screen and it was like, look at me and the nice face that I have. Ah, uh, okay. So you gotta... The bananas tell you where it's safe to land. 
Okay. And this is a secret, so... Uh, got some stuff. That's nice. Don't need a DK barrel. And uh, I think we're done with this level, I hope. No, we're not. We got like three secrets. That is a good pause, by the way. Okay, everybody, we're back. Oh, shoot. <laughs> by the way, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I haven't said anything about it, but it's Valentine's Day today. Today is Friday, February 14th, and it's 3.02 p.m. And nobody gave me chocolates. Just kidding, I've had a few chocolates today already. And the, like, campus well thing at my school had, like, a thing about, like, seven ways to enjoy Valentine's Day if you're flying solo, and I loved it. It was basically just like a lot of good things that I already believe as a, a Christian, but like, you know, just taking good care of yourself, self mentally and stuff. So, you just run off the edge, and it's like, okay, sure. Okay, by now we ought to be done with this level. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. No, we're not. Play skillfully. Play skillfully. Continue playing skillfully. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Oh, that's not a thing. I almost jumped down there. I was like, that's where I want to go. That's where I want to go for Christmas, Mom. Take me to Kazakhstan. Like, more people should go to Central Asia, is what I'm learning. Because it has, like, a really beautiful climate. Um, shoot, I kind of wanted Diddy. But, uh, same place, you grab the... Yeah, Central Asia supposedly actually has a really nice climate. But just, like, the political situation sucks. But, like, Kazakhstan and, like, all of those, like... Central Asian countries are like the size of Western Europe and they have like beautiful climates so it made me interested in visiting one of them someday if I ever get the chance okay by now we better be done with it no this is the level that keeps on giving oh my gosh okay Grab our bro back, or our cousin, or whatever. Play skillfully, don't mess up. Oh, we got some random bananas. Thank you, game. For providing us with the nourishment we need. Okay. If I, I know I'm gonna have to like, because today I, I would have liked to have lunch by now, but I just didn't because, because I was staying at school and then like walking around in the park and also printing stuff at school and staying at school to talk to people and hang out like after my 10.30 to 12.15 class was over. And I was like, well, I like doing all those things and staying outside and enjoying the sunlight, but I'm going to want nourishment because, like, I usually, like, I'm very, like, compulsive about, like, I need to have lunch sometime in between, like, 11 and 1.30 or else I'm going to, like, freak out. 
I'm kind of spoiled in that way, I think. Oh, darn. Oh, come on. This is stupid. But yeah, long story short, I brought a banana with me to school today for nourishment. Wow, that's so relevant to this game. These bananas have potassium and fiber and all that good stuff. Not that much vitamin C, apparently, but... You know. But it's good that this is a, a game that promotes healthy eating, like... Um... Banjo-Kazooie, which features vegetables, and Yoshi Story, which features fruits. And, um, Aladdin, which features apples. Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. I'll go, I guess the Sega one also features apples. Uh, let's... Oh, come on! Kill this guy. Go back. Get the barrel. The secret's right before the arrow, so right there. So grab espresso. Oops. I would have liked that one up. Because I clearly need it, because I'm stupid. And we're done with that level, officially. About time, too, because I'm down to one life after being stupid. 